we are going to see uh, a whole new generation of McMahon Levesques. Uh, that double barrel name certainly uh, going forward is going to be well known in the wrestling business. And it uh, it looks like Triple H has has secured his dynasty. He is without doubt now going to own a big part of that company. A smart man, Triple H, got in there when the going was good and um, yeah, he worked it right the way up and is still working it. Um, some people say that um, you know, he's the best worker in the business and uh, all you have to do is look at his position in WWE and uh, I think you'll find your answer right there. Some breaking news now, and some more wrestlers have moved to SmackDown. We've already mentioned that Goldust is going there, but Tiffany, uh, former ECW uh, general manager, Kaylin Croft and Trent Beretta, they're now all going to be part of SmackDown. They've been moved to the SmackDown Superstar section on WWE.com. Uh, talent yet to be assigned to a new brand include Abraham Washington, Byron Saxon, the man of sax, Tony Atlas, Tyler Rex, uh, Vance Archer, performing very strongly on FCW as we know it, and uh, Vladimir Kozlov. Uh, Vladimir, I think, is uh, going to have trouble finding a place on uh, any of those rosters. Maybe he could be a pro on NXT. Do you think he deserves that status? Uh, not just... Uh, not yet. I don't think uh, Kozlov's up to that kind of level. But interesting to see how long and where uh, all those superstars will end up over the coming months, um, releases um, and maybe uh, some nice repackaging and some new gimmicks um, uh, even off the top of that list, I don't think anybody is uh, really um, impressing uh, right now but who knows Yes, indeed. Our final bit of news for this week is that uh, the WWE Royal Rumble pay-per-view buy rate was released. This was interesting. We sat here and watched the Royal Rumble live, and we came away unimpressed. We really didn't think it was uh, deserving of, of that uh, big four, or now big three title. But uh, apparently, the buy rate was approximately 460 2,000 pay-per-view buys. The figure is up from last year's show, which drew 450,000 buys. That's about it for the Dirt Sheets. Now, time for the WrestleDope.com Superstar of the Week. I'll turn it over to Stephen. Yeah, um, this is going to be uh, a controversial choice this week, uh, as it's uh, somebody who you might have heard us uh, diss here and there. But um, it's certainly impressive in the world of wrestling. And that is none other than Drew McIntyre, this week's WrestleDope Superstar of the Week. Uh, controversial choice, but Drew um, showing us uh, what he can do with his promos uh, with Teddy Long. Uh, he is Vince's boy. Um, although he's not uh, really... Um, you know, winning, I suppose. Uh, a lot of people um, uh, he's put over in the last uh, bit. But, um, yeah, I think uh, Drew is uh, shaking things up a little bit. Drew McIntyre named the Superstar of the Week, the uh, second wrestler to get that honour. Last week we had Miz. He was our first Wrestle Dope Superstar of the Week. Now Drew McIntyre following in his footsteps. And it looks like uh, we are picking all the young guys. And guys that perhaps at times we may not be that enamoured with. But certainly their work rate shows true when it counts. Yeah, true. Is, he seems to have landed on his feet, definitely. And uh, the gimmick um, leaves a little bit to be desired, but he seems to pull it off. And I think more so um, with the Titan Tron and the entrance. And uh, he's kind of created this, um, I don't know, he's kind of got a, a feel to the the whole thing and sometimes I think that can get over more so than uh, all the promos and the mic talk and um, I think uh, hats off to Drew he's uh, he's making us he's making us stand up and take note 
we've enjoyed Drew McIntyre, though controversial a figure he is, he certainly has performed well and it can't be denied. We, in fact, saw Drew on his very first debut, in fact, at a WWE SmackDown taping. Only thing is, we think that that debut is going to be erased from history because he appeared at that show. It was a UK show and uh, he came out with Dave Taylor. Uh, fans of the show who've got great memories will remember that. I remember being in that live crowd just 10 rows away that he was in fact a lot lighter. He was a lot smaller. I really don't know where he gained all that size and bulk but in the few years that it took between 2007 and just last year for Drew to come back to TV uh, it's been an all new Drew McIntyre and of course with the backing of Vince McMahon who can go wrong Drew McIntyre our superstar of the week as we wrap out or wrap up Wrestle Dope podcast for this week it's been live it's been real it's been fun too a lot of fun and that's where we wrap up goodbye from Stephen goodbye to wrestling fans and myself Darren I'll say good night to you. and myself Darren I'll say good night to you. and myself Darren I'll say good night to you. and myself Darren I'll say good night to you. and